offspring, what comes to mind? You don't have to tell me, but just think about it. How much do you truly know about offspring? The fact of the matter is, the majority of us don't know much about ospreys other than the fact that they're birds, they swoop, and they represent UNF. And yet, for many years, we have and will identify ourselves as ospreys. It is only right for us to know something about this animal that we call ourselves. And that is why I chose this topic for my research. Because personally, I knew more about geese on campus than I did about ospreys, just from my past experiences. But that's a different story. So first, we'll need to know the history behind the osprey becoming our school's mascot. Second, we must learn how they live and behave in the wild. And finally, you will understand how the osprey accurately represents us as individual students as well as a united school. So how did the osprey become UNF mascot? Well, the answer to that can be found on the UNF website in an article written by Gary Warner. It all started in the year 1978. The school officially opened in the year 1972, but for the first six years, no one really saw a need for a mascot. There were no athletic programs or no real true school spirit. But in 1978, a woman named Doreen Daly was writing an article about the rising number of UNF alumni in Jacksonville after only six years, and she wanted some artwork to represent our school. On her own accord, she chose to represent us as the Armadillos. <laughs> you can imagine the students' reaction to this when they saw it. They were a little angry. No one had asked them. They had no say in this. So immediately, the student government got involved. And after a referendum, a manatee and a seagull were also in the running of what became known as the Battle of the Creatures. It was then decided that there would be a school-wide vote for the new mascot. Shortly before the voting was held, a man named Dr. Ray Bowman proposed the idea of an osprey, and it was placed on the ballot. Once all the votes were counted, it became obvious which choice was voted by the majority, and thus the osprey was declared UNF mascot. So now that you know how the osprey became our mascot, we can look at why so many students, so many students chose this animal. According to the National Geographic, ospreys are the most widespread birds of prey. They are found on every continent except for Antarctica. Most ospreys are migratory birds, which means that they breed in the north and they fly south for winter. However, in the 1950s, it was unlikely that anyone in North America would find them up north or down south because they were in danger due to chemical pollutants that caused their eggshells to turn from this into this. The thinning of their eggshells um, decreased their rates of reproduction, and you can see how this became a problem. After a ban was placed on DDT, the North American osprey bounced back and was no longer endangered. Ospreys also have some interesting behaviors in the wild. According to the Cornell Lab of Ornithology, 99% of an osprey's diet comes from fish, which is why they are almost always found near bodies of water. They have the ability to dive up to 30 feet below the water surface, and in some instances they can soar up to 600 feet above their nest. The fact that I find most interesting is when they start building their nests, they always start out small, but after years of building onto them, they can get up to three to six feet in diameter, which is large enough for humans to sit in comfortably. So now that we know the story behind our behind the mascot becoming our or the osprey becoming our mascot, and that they are great animals, we can talk about how they represent us as students. Ospreys are birds of prey, meaning that they are fierce hunters that attack their prey, just like we attack the challenges that we're faced with here at UNF inside and outside of the classroom. A website called Synology.org has an article written by Melissa Russell that describes how birds of all kinds symbolize freedom, just in their ability to swim, walk, and fly as they please, just as we are free to pursue any, pursue any future that we want to. Ospreys are widespread birds that are found on almost every continent, just as UNF accepts students from all over the world and also sends students to several different countries on study abroad programs. We also have a similar lifestyle as well. Ospreys live near the water, just as we are a school near the beach, and many of us enjoy spending time in the water or doing water-related activities. Just as ospreys go out and explore new places that are 30 feet below the water surface or 600 feet above the trees, we explore new ideas and concepts at this college to broaden our knowledge base and become more well-rounded individuals. Over time, ospreys learn to build bigger nests, just as we grow into more stable, strong, and secure individuals. It may come as a surprise to you how much we actually have in common with ospreys, but that is why I chose this topic to inform you on today. Today I first discussed how the osprey became UNF mascot. Second, I discussed why ospreys are such amazing animals. And finally, I discussed how we, as a student population of UNF, are accurately represented by the osprey. Now you can see why it is so important to know about your mascot and aspects of your school's history, the animal itself, and the image of this animal representing you. Hopefully next time you display your school pride by swooping after a free throw at a basketball game or wearing blue and gray clothing that is stamped with the Osprey logo, you will remember the true meaning that's behind this symbol to which we identify. Thank you.